Good evening. Nine on your side. Getting to the bottom tonight of why a tri state principal, a very popular one, has been suspended. The Blanchester School District put its high school principal on administrative leave last week, but gave no reason. Tonight, we've learned Rick Hostler is accused of intimidation, bullying, and throwing objects during a tirade earlier this month. Nine on your side, investigative reporter Jason Law has more on the accusations that landed this longtime educator in hot water. Jason. We've learned tonight that Blanchester High School principal Rick Hostler has been written up twice in the past nine months. The most recent letter of reprimand to go into his personnel file came last week after a quote unquote meltdown inside the high school earlier this month. Early Monday morning, before the sun was up, a dozen or so students lined up to show support for their suspended principal. I just think we need to support him right now as he supports us. If you are going to suspend a great man, at least tell us why. For almost a week, no one knew why Blanchester's high school principal had been suspended. But not on your side uncovered two letters of reprimand in Rick Hostler's personnel file. Earlier this month, Hostler was accused of having a meltdown in front of another employee throwing things, screaming and yelling. No one is running my building or telling my teachers what to do. I'm the principal. Don't you dare talk to my teachers. According to the documents, Hostler was written up earlier this year for another series of complaints. He was accused of failing to report or properly investigate a sexual harassment complaint. He's quoted as telling the worker who filed the complaint, it will go no further and stops here. During a track meet last year, Hostler was accused of heckling the athletes to the point of almost making one student cry. This prompted another school official to threaten to call the police and tell Hostler, you are a principal. You should act like it. We're at his home this morning in Clinton County. He would not comment on these accusations, but he did tell me he's talking with a lawyer. We're live in Blanchester tonight. Jason Law, not on your side.